Calling all climate buffs! Let's take a look at the U.S. and global climate reports for the 2018 Northern Hemisphere Autumn, or the time period otherwise known as the fall, or the months of September, October, and November. These reports come straight from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And, as you know, this time period is also the Southern Hemisphere Spring, because our planet tilts. Isn't that neat? Anyway, during autumn 2018, warmer to much warmer than normal conditions were present across most of the world's land and oceans. With cooler than average conditions limited to Canada, most of the lower 48 United States, northern Mexico, southern Asia, and parts of the Atlantic Ocean. Meanwhile, all-time warmest temperatures were present across most of the state of Alaska and the rest of the world's oceans. Taken as a whole, the global land and ocean temperature for September through November 2018 was about a degree and a half Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. This makes autumn 2018 the second warmest autumn season over the last 139 years. Hmm. I feel like I said something eerily similar last year. Unsurprisingly, the ocean has also experienced its second warmest autumn season in 139 years in 2018. This animation shows ocean temperature anomalies for the autumn 2018. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal water, while red indicates warmer than normal water. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, there's about a 90% chance for El Nino conditions to form this winter. As we all know, an El Nino refers to warmer than normal ocean waters along the equator in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. El Nino has implications for winter weather around the globe and might potentially push 2019's global temperatures even higher than they would be otherwise. Here in the United States, autumn temperatures for the lower 48 was very near normal. However, the September through November rainfall total for the contiguous United States was 9.61 inches, which is nearly 3 inches above the long-term normal amount of rainfall for this season. This made autumn 2018 the second wettest autumn on record. This is in large part due to the heavy rains associated with the climate change charged hurricanes Florence and Michael. Hurricane Florence was a long-lived tropical cyclone that brought devastating flooding to the Carolinas in September. Florence moved extremely slowly after making landfall near Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina on September 14th. This sluggish landfall caused a prolonged storm surge event along the coast while providing extremely high rainfall totals. Numerous locations observed rainfall totals above 30 inches. This caused rivers in the area to crest at all-time high flows. The highest rainfall total was measured near Elizabethtown, North Carolina, with a total of almost 36 inches of rainfall. Adding to the havoc, 34 tornadoes were spawned as Florence moved inland. We are sad to report that at least 51 fatalities were blamed on the storm, and damages are expected to easily exceed $1 billion. Hurricane Michael was a major October hurricane that approached the U.S. from the Gulf of Mexico, making landfall on the Florida Panhandle on October 10th. According to air pressure measurements from inside the storm, Hurricane Michael was the third most intense hurricane to make landfall in the United States. Hurricane Michael was also the fourth most intense hurricane to make landfall, based on wind speed measurements. Tragically, there were at least 60 fatalities blamed on Hurricane Michael, and damages are also expected to be well over $1 billion. Like all extreme weather events, staying safe involves preparedness. Sit down with your family and or your close friends, and make a plan before an emergency happens. And that, my wonderful climate buffs, is your Autumn 2018 Climate Digest. Have a great winter, stay warm, and be safe, so that you can be ready when that polar vortex swirls. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.